In this demonstration, we'll take a look at how to use Access Data's FDK Imager to create an image of a suspect's drive. I've already installed FTK Imager, so I'm going to launch it from the desktop here. Once FTK Imager is launched, to create an image of a drive, you go to the File menu and choose Create Disk Image. When you go to Create the Disk Image, you'll choose the source, which is the drive that you're creating the image of, and you choose the type of um, source it is, whether it's going to be a physical drive, a logical drive, which will be a partition, so you're not creating an image of the entire drive. It could be an image of an image file or the contents of a folder or it could be a CD or DVD device. Now in this case, it is a physical drive, and actually I'm gonna be using a USB drive as the example here. So I choose Next. Then it shows you a list of the physical drives that exist on your forensics uh, workstation. So I'm gonna go with the USB drive, and then choose Finish. Once to know where it is, we wanna go and store the image. Um, so I'm going to choose the destination, so I'm going to hit the Add button here. When I choose the Add button to choose the destination, the first thing that I have to do is choose the image type. So in this case, we're going to be going with a raw image, which is the same image format that Double D as a program would go and create. So I choose Next. We fill in our case number. So in this case, I'm going to go and create the case number of 2021 underscore 08 underscore and the date will go with uh, 25 and it's the first case of the day let's say and then evidence number will be 001 we'll plug in a unique description So I'll put in image of suspect's flash drive. We can specify who the examiner is and any additional notes. Then we specify where it is that we want to go and create the image. So I'm going to hit the browse button here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, put this image on the C drive. On the C drive, I'll create a folder called images. And then we specify the image file name, and I'll just put suspect USB drive. And then we'll hit finish. So once you go in and add in the target uh, for where it is that you're going to create an image of the physical disk to, then you can go and start creating the image. Now, depending on the size of the image, this may take a little bit of time. You can see the progress bar is as kind of started to increase here. In this example, I went with this flash drive because it is only a, uh, I believe, a one gig drive. Um, so it shouldn't take too long. In this demonstration, you saw how to create an image of a physical drive.